Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a quick video just showing you how to enable TPM 2.0 on the ASRock X470 motherboard. So this is an AMD platform. Now I'm also going to show you how to enable Secure Boot. Um, both of these are required for the installation of Windows 11. So what is TPM? TPM is the Trusted Platform Module and it's basically a hardware chip baked into the hardware. For example, your motherboard, usually a standalone chip, which kind of acts acting as a secure gateway between software and hardware. It basically it is a security feature implemented in Windows that stops uh, malicious um, malware affecting or attacking your hardware directly. So to start off, if you're going to be upgrading to Windows 11, make sure you make a backup ISO of your existing operating system or make a backup of your programs and files to make sure you don't accidentally lose any information because when I first upgraded to Windows 11 myself during the installation it actually crashed and I did lose my C drive but that's okay because I don't really have anything on there of important anyway so again back everything up and also it is a good idea to make a copy or a backup file of your BIOS so just in case you have any problems or if you need to clear your CMOS, please check your manufacturer's instructions on how to do so because you may need to um, reset the BIOS if you make a mistake um, when changing some of these settings. So let's go ahead, let's turn on the PC. So again, this is the ASRock X470 motherboard. Now AMD, Ryzen, they all have TPM um, available. So as long as you're using AMD Ryzen, your motherboard will have in the options somewhere an option to turn on TPM. So obviously we turn the computer on and we want to hit delete or F2 to enter the UEFI. Now on this screen here, we want to go over to advanced settings and we have CPU configuration. So we want to hit enter and then we want to go down to AMD FTPM switch. Now, as default, this is disabled because I've already enabled it. We want to change it to AMD CPU FTPM. So basically that is just enabling the AMD TPM so that um, Windows 11 will um, be able to install. So we want to go ahead and enable that. And then we also need secure boot enabled to um, install Windows 11 as well. So um, we want to scroll across to the security tab, which we can see here. Scroll down, we have secure boot. If we click that one, now again, at default, this is disabled. So we want to go ahead and enable it. It might prompt you on this screen that this one here, secure boot mode, might be already under custom. So you just change that to standard and secure boot you want to enable. So that is it. That's all you need to do to enable the um, TPM 2.0 on AMD Ryzen on the ASRock X470 motherboard. Again, this is most likely the same for all ASRock motherboards as the BIOSes are very similar. Um, and then once you've done that, don't forget to save changes and exit. So um, go ahead, save changes and exit. Okay, so please excuse me for the poor resolution, but I'm recording this in a weird way so I could record the BIOS. Um, but as you can see, I already have Windows 11 installed, but this process is exactly the same for Windows 10. So if you click the Windows key and R, we open the run, type tpm.msc, and then we go under this section here we can see that tpm is ready for use so if you have any questions please leave it in the comments and i'll try and get back to you again i'm going to make a more thorough video on installing windows 11 because there are a couple of things that is needed for example you need to make sure that your windows installation is set to uefi and not legacy mode but again i'll cover that in another video Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.